This is a tremendous opportunity, a great first step. Uh, we're going to go out and compete and do everything we can to play our best football. But we know that uh, great days are ahead. And so this is the first step in a wonderful journey. Middle pass is caught near the 20 yard line. Good pull by Alex Bullock to grab it as Ramirez at the two. He's to the five, to the 10, 15. Scoots to the outside 20, 25. He's to the 30, to the 40. Ramirez to the 50, 45, 40. Ramirez Johnson with a heck of a return. Toss sweep. Anthony Grant looking to throw the ball back Got to Sims. Open. And it's a, it's a lateral. It comes off of Sims' legs. He picks it up, throws it downfield wide open at the goal line. It's a touchdown. Alex Bullock wide open in the end zone. We practiced that all week, so when that play was called, I kind of expected to be open like that. So, you know, I, I trusted Jeff. Looking to take a shot, throws it downfield, pass is intercepted, I think. You know, for us, uh, this is the first game. But the defense was dominant for long stretches. We saw the things that we need to improve upon. Husker send the blitz, they get after it. Nash gets a sack. Back to the 30-yard line. Husker second sack on the drive. Those are some of our high V sounds for the Huskers opening game on a Thursday night up in Minneapolis. Welcome to our Husker football show brought to you by BMO. The end result was disappointing, but there had to be things in there you liked. Yeah, you know, um, obviously we're disappointed. You know, we go out and we play to win the game. And um, probably even more importantly, uh, we want to play really good football. And I thought there were a lot of stretches where I saw that. I thought um, in the third quarter you saw things sort of come together. You saw a team... You know, standing out there, we looked like we were in shape. Um, you saw the other team kind of taking a knee, you know, at times. But, you know, with five minutes left, we did, you know, we, we kind of let go of the rope. And um, so the, obviously that's disappointing for the guys. It's disappointing for me, but it just lets us know where we are. And um, there's no use crying about it. You just have to go back and try to make that improvement uh, going into week two. All right, Huskers and Gophers, the opening game of the 2023 season. When we come back, we'll check out action from the first half. That's next on the Husker Football Show. Presented by BMO. Welcome back to the Husker Football Show presented by BMO. Nebraska opened the season on a Thursday night. Gorgeous night. Huskers win the toss, defer, put the defense right out there on the field to start this game. And I think you're pretty confident throwing that group out there right now. Yeah, you know, I, I think um, uh, we have a lot of veteran players on defense, guys. We played a lot of football, and, and we like our special teams. I thought, you know, you talked about bright spots earlier. I thought our overall special teams play was wh where we needed it to be. Were you surprised that they came out throwing the football as much as they did? You know, there had been a lot of talk about that. You know, uh, the, 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 the quarterback's an excellent player. I think, you know, they tried to establish the run at times. I think we just did a really nice job against the run, and uh, it became more of a drop-back game. So an incompletion here ends their drive, and then you get the offense in a tough spot. But, boy, Jeff shows off his mobility here right away. Yeah, did a great job, you know, earlier getting us out of the end zone. And here, you know, comes out on a, a counter zone read play, and, and you can see the dynamic nature that he brings to the table. Huskers unable to move it much past that on their first drive. Give the ball back. Crooms, they were using him a lot in the slot, getting him kind of over the middle some early in this game against your defense. Yeah, you know, we, we had to kind of adjust. Um, I think one of the, the early stories where they were four of their first five on third down. So um, a couple of great plays like this, Gift down in the red zone, holding them to field goals. But I think as we kind of settled into, okay, it's a drop back game. It's, we have to win third down. Tony did a great job, and, and the guys, you know, they came through. You hold them here in the red zone. They have to settle for three. They have a 3 nothing lead. Again, you get Jeff going in the run game. Yeah, again, you know, they, just, they, they didn't quite have an answer for the play. We ran it several times throughout the night. Uh, close to breaking one for a, a big one, you know. And then here, here you see Sat doing a great job using his personnel. Heinrich obviously is the backup quarterback, but, but can run with the football as well. This drive will end with a really good play by their defensive back, making a pick here and a ball just a little overthrown. Yeah, you know, the, the game came down to, uh, unfortunately came down to uh, t turnovers and takeaways. And um, I just have to protect the ball in that situation, punt it down, put them inside the 10. So they move it out near midfield, but this drive ends up, you end up stopping them deep in their, your own end where they miss a field goal. Again, I thought you got pretty good pressure all night long on their quarterback. Yeah, Ty Robinson, you know, up until he was gone, I mean, he was dominant. You know, they, you know he hit the quarterback several times and got there. Uh, we had some missed opportunities like the one you saw. MJ came a little too tight, but um, I think that's a unit that's going to improve rushing the passer as the year goes on. Here's the miss from 54. Gives you a little shorter field, and you may, this might be your best drive. It didn't end well, but it might be your best drive, 11-play drive. Starts right here. You know, I think early on, you know, the new clock rules and the way Minnesota plays, only three drives in the first half. You know, one starting at our own one-yard line, so not a ton of rhythm. Um, we're able to get some rhythm in this drive, and I think that carried over into the second half. And this will drive you crazy, a false start down near the goal line. Yeah, you know, um, you know, at the end of the day, the game comes down to, you know, four turnovers and, and, and two turnovers, two, excuse me, false starts inside the five, where we came away with just three points. On this play, even if you see, you know, Nate Borgature is wide open in the front, 
Um, you know, these things happen. We, we, we did a good job, I thought, of getting into the locker room at halftime, not panicking. Um, when you're looking at the soul of your team and where they're going to be as they grow up uh, throughout the course of the season, I was pleased that we came out and started the second half after the disappointment of the ending of the first half. So a 3 nothing go for lead of the half. We've got some fun stuff to get to, including the opening kickoff of the second half. We'll do that next. And we welcome you back to the Husker Football Show presented by BMO. A 3 nothing go for lead at the half. Huskers, because they defer, gets the opening kickoff, and you had to love the execution on this. Yeah, you know, r really happy for Ramir, big Ramir fan. You know, he starts the ball to the left, sees an opening, and uh, just just uh, makes a play, takes it back. Uh, excellent job, great ball security. Almost took it to the house, but really, really kind of what we needed, especially after the way the first half ended. How about this play? Yeah, you know, this is a play we've been working. You know, we, we call it Osborne. You know, uh, Ron Brown said coach loved uh, trick plays. And um, uh, what a way to start the second half. Good job by Jeff. I was nervous when it came off his hands that he could pick it up. I thought maybe it was going to roll out of bounds, but he kept his composure about it. It, it was an excellent play by him. And to see him, see Alex down the field wide open like that uh, was really a special play. Now you have the lead. First time of the game, and your defense responds with a three and out to get the ball right back. That's really big to just come back right after you take a lead and get, keep the momentum in your side. Yeah, we're playing complimentary football, you know, uh, you know, take the lead, play great defense. And again, we're winning third down now, which uh, wasn't happening earlier. Now, the Gophers cranked up their pressure on Jeff in the second half. They had three sacks in the second half. There's the first one. The drive is over, but they make a mistake, one of only three penalties with the roughing the kicker here. Yeah, this is, this is where we have to grow. Like, this, this is one of those drives, and now you have to take the ball down. You have to get points. You know, they, you have to go down. You have to put it in the end zone after they've made that mistake. And unfortunately, again, third down, we weren't able to convert, take the sack, and not really what we wanted to be in. So the Gophers get the football back, and here's a big play. Ty gets called for targeting out for the rest of this game, out for the first half coming up Saturday against Colorado, too. Yeah, I hate it for him. I mean, he's just, you know, he's one of those guys who plays so hard. He was, he was really a menace in that game, and, uh, you know, we'll look forward to seeing him in the second half. Gophers start to drive on you. They get down inside the red zone, but a kid from Minnesota for you, Omar Brown, makes a big play. Really happy for Omar. You know, he was one of our game captains. Talk about a guy who's really answered the call this preseason and uh, reads the route cuts underneath it and um, big big turn of events you know we go down we get a field goal you know, so they would have either had a field goal or a touchdown so it's either a six or a uh, ten point swing how about this run by Gabe yeah you know uh, get downhill run the counter play Gabe breaks a tackle and he's off and running Marcus Washington who you did not have available in the first half made some nice catches for you in the second half you're making your way down here this is a decent drive again a false start penalty down inside the 10 yeah hard, hard to win games like this hard to win games in the big 10 when we make those types of mistakes uh, happy for Tristan. He was able to get out there and make his first career kick, and you know now we have a touchdown lead. Ten, three, big red, another three and out with the black shirts as they get the ball back to your offense. You love that. And then you tried to, as we said, get playmakers on the field. You took a shot with Tommy Hill coming up here on offense. Yeah, you know, 12 minutes left in the game. Uh, we, we, we thought we had to play with him. He got behind the defense and just weren't able to connect. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to utilize Tommy on both sides of the ball and, and, and try to utilize his skill set. Uh, just like we did there. Get a pass complete here, but it was third and ten, not able to move it. So you get the ball back to them, and your your defense really started to put pressure on the quarterback. You had three sacks all coming up here in the second half. Yeah, you know, great job by Blaze there, level rushing, coming back underneath, and again the defense started to really take over, knocked them out of field goal range here. Nash with a sack as well. Those are two of your three sacks in the second half. So you keep the lead, get the ball back. Now we're about five minutes to go in the football game, and then this one's tough to watch. Yeah, this is, you know, this is how we're built. We're built to get the ball back with five minutes and run the clock out. And, um, you know, we have a good run, and unfortunately, great play by their number five. He knocks the ball out. Um, but an opportunity for our defense to go out and get the stop. You know, had them in two fourth downs on this drive, and they were able to, they were able to convert both of them, unfortunately. Convert there. The face mask penalty gives them 15 more. That gives them some life. You can see the clock. We're inside of four minutes to go in the game. The, the big tight end for them was a factor. It kind of came and went. This was a good play by him to get him down inside the 15. Yeah, you know, he's obviously one of the better players in the, in the Big Ten. We, we, we did a good job against him for most of the day. That, that, that play hurt. Here's a real, real shot to get off the field. It looked like Isaac had a chance to get a pick. Yeah, you know, kind of coming out of the game. You know, just, uh, just uh, lots of different chances. You just needed to make one more play. We're an inch away from, you know, sacking the quarterback there. He's an inch away from being out of bounds. Um, you know, uh, they made the play, though, but we still have a chance to go down with two, two start took the ball over with 230 and have the ball at the 50. We need to go about 15 yards here, kick the game-winning field goal. One of their better players is their safety, Newbin. He makes a great read on this, gets the pick to give them the chance to win it late. Yeah, great great play by him. You know, painful learning lesson for us. You know, we want to throw that ball away and, and, and play the next play. We were in control, but uh, this was a big play for them, getting them back into field goal range and 
uh, their kid made the kick. Uh, congratulations to him. And uh, pain, painful, <laughs> painful lessons to learn, but a lot that we can, a lot, lot we can move forward with. Forty-seven yarder to go through the uprights for the thirteen ten final score. All right, when we come back, Jessica Cootie's going to sit down with one of the black shirts, Luke Reimer. We'll have that conversation next. We welcome you back to the Husker Football Show presented by BMO. This week, Jessica Cootie sits down with one of the black shirts, one of the single digit numbers for the Cornhuskers, Luke Reimer. Snap back to Kaliak Manis. Let's set up a wide receiver screen to scrim in. He is hit and dropped. Good tackle made by Luke Reimer. Sniff that out. No gain on the play. Daniel Jackson made the grab. Nowhere to go. Three and out for the black shirt. A special thing, I mean, not doing team captains this year, and Coach Rule said that it's kind of those single digit guys are, are those team captains. So to be voted on by your teammates to, to be one of the first and to get that single digit, what did that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, to be respected and to be like, Kind of looked up as that leader on the team is is something I you know don't take like for for granted and stuff like that's a that's a pretty big deal that's a big honor but it's also a big challenge to uh, make sure every single day is your your standards up here and not you know you have a bad day you know whatever the case is like it doesn't slip like it's got to always stay up there so it's a it's a big challenge but it's also a huge honor and something I'm you know pretty proud of. So we're number four in Kansas, right? Or yeah. So how special is it for you to, as a senior to be wearing number four and going yeah. back to that? Yeah, it, it's always fun because, and then when I got here, I was just given 28. I didn't, you know, had no choice, and I just continued to wear it. Uh, so it was, a, it was just kind of a cool thing that I could finally pick my own number for you know once in the last six years. Um, so it's cool to you know go back to my freshman and sophomore year of high school what I wore there. So yeah, it was a cool experience. You had a lot of uh, supporters still back there in Kansas. So you know for and you changed your hometown on the roster back to Ashland, Kansas. Uh, you know what what does that town and that those people mean to you? Yeah, I mean they mean the world to me. Like they're the they're they're great. They're awesome. Like they're always supporting me, always watching all my interviews and just everything about. Uh, what I do, so it's uh, just paying back um, what they've what they've given uh, what they've given me and stuff. So it's uh, they mean the world to me. I, I talked to one of the staff members that said, um, you know, in their years of doing it, they've not had many guys that have been as respected as you from the youngest guys that are coming in to the guys that you've been playing with. A lot of times, it's the guys that you've been around for the three and four years, but for these younger guys now to look up to you. How have you gone about that, about putting your arm around some of these younger guys and, and welcoming them in too? Yeah, I mean, it's the it's all about leaving a legacy, like um, paying forward to what, you know, guys when I was a freshman, uh, when I was just first walking in here, like what they meant to me, like I have to do that same thing for uh, these new guys. How ready, how excited are you about this group of guys? You got a lot of guys that are, you've played a lot of football with Ty Robinson, Quentin Newsom, Nick, uh, you know, list goes on, but then you're also adding some new pieces. So how excited are you about this group that's coming together for this black shirt defense? No, it's fun. Like we all, we all laugh, we all get together. It's a, it's a, it's a fun time. So um, all the position meetings, like you can hear the D line laugh and you can hear us laugh and like, it's a, it's a good time, but we also work. We also know what we're doing. Um, so it's, it's a, it's a fun time to kind of mix those old guys and young guys and just all the different personalities. Like it's, uh, it's pretty enjoyable. It's a, my life's pretty good playing college football. Young man's playing an awful lot of football here in Nebraska. One of your older guys on this team earned the, and got that vote of the confidence from his teammates. Yeah, I'm very grateful for Luke. Um, when you have a transition like this, it's really hard, you know, and to have older guys like he and Nick and Ty and many more, but to have a guy like Luke embrace, you know, the way that we're doing things and, and even to change his number um, and wear the single digit and get that tradition started, um, it means a great deal to me. Do you like the way your linebackers played in the opener? Yeah, I thought, I thought uh, you know, they played really well and we rotated, you know, we played, we played like five or six linebackers, you know, we played Luke, we played Johnny Bullock, that Javen came in, he's doing some really good things, Makai Bear's doing really good things. Uh, we were able to play, you know, Chief and MJ, so, uh, we had a good we had a good mix of guys, which allowed them to stay fresh, but also will pay off for us as we hit that Big Ten season. You know, you're going to need a lot of guys to play with the the big powerful offenses. We'll see. No doubt. All right, when we come back, coach's thoughts about the upcoming game with the Colorado Buffaloes. That's next. Welcome back to the Husker Football Show presented by BMO. One game in the books. Now it's on to Colorado this week. What's been kind of the mood of the guys? Did they come back eager to learn and try to move on from the first game? Yeah, you know, we came back in, uh, watched the tape together on Friday. Um, you know, 
like anything else, there's good, bad, and everything that you do. So the guys are really good about, uh, hey, what do we need to do to improve? Um, gave them Saturday off, and then you know got back to work Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and so we'll be uh, we'll be excited to play this week. You know, it's a tremendous opportunity. Obviously, uh, Colorado played an amazing game on Saturday. They'll be a ranked opponent, so for us, the chance to play a, you know ranked team on the road, it'll be a it'll be a pretty cool special event. They look pretty athletic, and they play fast. Is those some of the challenges? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you're on the road, so, we, you know, again, managing being on the road, um, you know, obviously there, there's the tempo that they have, the elevation, but mainly, it'll, you know, we're going to make it football. Now, they've got really good players, you know, uh, quarterback's an excellent player, you know, they got Travis Hunter playing both ways. They've got good players on offense and defense, really well coached. Um, you know, our players are going to have to play really well. Have a good week. Thank you. Huskers and Buffaloes. We'll have that reaction from Coach next week right here on the Husker Football Show presented by BMO. My thanks to the entire Husker Vision crew and to you for watching. We'll see you again here next week.